Hello! Hi, everybody! How are you? Genki desu ka? I am live and back. <sighs> All right, so uh, today I'm streaming to Facebook and to YouTube and to Twitch. So I'm just, uh, I'm kind of dabbling in Twitch and in experimenting in Twitch. Um, if any of you use Twitch or could teach me <laughs> more about it, I would, I would love to hear more about it. Uh, how's everyone doing? Let me know in the comments. Let's see. So I feel like some people have already commented. Uh, Frederick said it's too early, I guess, for where you live. You live in Europe, yeah? Uh, Ricky Carroll said you would make a great school teacher. <laughs> well, yeah, I am. Um, I don't, I don't teach uh, school kids, but I do teach, I do teach kids music, and it is very, very fun. Mookie, are you here? Ten thumbs and all. It's good. Ten thumbs. <laughs> you have ten thumbs crazy. Yeah. Okay. So let me know where you are in the comments. How are you doing? Let me know in the comments. I've been an absolute mess um, for about two weeks, <laughs> but, but uh, I'm sure a lot of people have. It's been, um, it's been a hard awakening to, uh, uh, you know, there's so much pain. There's so much um, hurt in the world and to feel quite helpless. <laughs> um, hi, Emily. Ah, hello. Good to see you. But it's been a, hi, Mookie. Yeah. But you know, it's, um, it's also full of hope. And I've seen so many of my friends who are just so strong and so resilient and so full of love. And um, so I feel a lot of hope too. Hi, Jeff, you're shouting out from Pennsylvania. It's um, three hours ahead, yeah? So I think it's 8 p.m. Maybe it's already dark where it is. So uh, yeah, so I took a break last week, but um, it's good to be back and it's good to to see you guys <laughs> and, to, uh, and to fold origami. Hi. Hi, June Takashi. Yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Today we are going to make the um, a shirt. So, oh, if you have like a really cool Aloha style um, paper, you could make like an Aloha shirt. That would have been really cool, actually. Do I have paper like that? I have a few different types of paper. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. where Jeff is. Oh, awesome. 8 p.m. Yay, I love doing this. <laughs> Emily from LA, hi! <laughs> this is so fun, it's like a game. Yeah, all right. Um, so what color, what color origami do you have? Hi, Tim san konnichiwa. Um, do you have colored paper? What do you do? Do you have colors? What do you think I should, what kind of shirt should I make? Should I make yellow or purple or blue? We are actually gonna need to cut our paper in half so if you want to do that already go for it uh or get some paper i uh, get some scissors so you can cut it hey yellow okay we got it we got a yellow hi oh first twitch comment <laughs> i'm very new to twitch so you're gonna have to teach me about it <laughs> right now i'm i'm streaming simultaneously to um to youtube and facebook and twitch so, okay, yellow, yellow it is. I know, we need someone, we need to pick me up. <laughs> cool, okay. So we're gonna, I'm gonna do yellow. Get your, uh, get your paper ready. You can um, get a square or you can also, some people make this out of dollars. So you could even do a dollar shirt if you want to. Um, we're gonna make some fun origami shirts. Yes, so fun. And I will show you how to cut it in half soon. But before, uh, while we're kind of waiting for maybe some stragglers, because once we start, hi, hi Enfield. Um, well, we're going to make, I do this weekly origami stream, and we are going to make a shirt and tie out of paper. So 
go get some paper. <laughs> it doesn't have to be origami paper. You could even use a dollar for this. Um, I've seen some people make these out of dollars. Um, or get some square paper, fold it in half, and we're going to cut it. So get some ready if you want to join us. This is today's, today's origami is very easy. <laughs> so we probably won't end up using the full hour. If you hear me speaking in Japanese, all right. Oh my goodness, Moonshine Jeff says, follow when you were back on Joy Autumn's channel. Yes, I love Joy. She is amazing. Oh, thank you. Okay, I could, uh, I'll sing a song for you while you're cutting. So get some paper, cut it into this shape. Normally with origami, you don't cut or use glue. But in this case, we're starting with a different um, shape. We're gonna start with this kind of size shape. So cut while I sing you a song. All right, gosh, I haven't sung in a while. What song should I sing? <clears throat> Do we have any requests? Ikuesta arimasu ka? You know what? I'll sing you a song called Treasure. It's Japanese. <laughs> Except I just realized that my guitar is tuned differently today. Maybe I can't. Josh, you know what? I think I meant to send you something the other day and I don't think I did. 
So let me, um, while you're here, Josh, why don't I do this? Uh, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> why can't I do this? I teach this to my kids all the time. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. I'm sorry this is late. Happy birthday, Josh. Happy birthday. Woo! Well, the other day. <laughs> I'm sorry it's late. I totally meant to send you something and I don't think I did. <laughs> um, okay, great. Hi, Tim. Oh, yeah, I already said hi. Uh, hello. Actually, this is perfect that you're here because I did want to do a special shout out, um, you know, uh, to some people who kindly tipped me. So thank you, Kasuko-san. Thank you, Muki. Thank you, Carrie, for your generous tips from the previous streams. Um, I love to do this and so tips aren't necessary, but I really appreciate you doing that. And so I wanted to give you a little shout out. So I think that's Thank you for your tips. All right. Um, and if anyone wants to ship me this week, um, I'll give you a shout out next week. It's going to be, oh, here we go. I've got a little banner for that too. It's going to be paypal.me, Akat McDowell Music, or Venmo, Akat McDowell, I think. <laughs> so you'll find me out there. So yeah, awesome. OK. All right, let's get started. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Josh. Okay, so uh, have you cut your piece of paper? We started with a square. I know normally with origami we start with squares, but we are going to uh, cut this in half. And so let me just get my little uh, share screen. All right, we'll do this half half. See if this if this works. If this is too small, just let me know, and I'll make the screen a little bit bigger. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize that you could do this in, um, in YouTube. I haven't done it in so long. Thank you so much, Jeff. Appreciate you. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. So I'm just going to, I get a cutter, but you can use scissors. If you don't have scissors, you can just rip it. So we have, we start with this um, half square rectangle. What do you call them in the US? Oblong? Um, rectangle. We're going to start with this. And I'm going to put the colored side down. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold this into, um, we're going to separate this into thirds. And you can kind of guess it. You don't, it doesn't have to be perfect. So just kind of fold it to about a third of the way. Can you see it? Can you see this? To about like this. Okay. This is super, super easy. It's going to be really easy to that. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to make the screen a little bit bigger. And then we're going to flip it. So flip it over. Whoop, whoop. And then we are going to fold this in half. So maybe I do it this way, but we're going to fold this in half like so. And then open it up. And we are going to fold, well, over again, sorry, back this way. And then we're going to fold the sides into the center, both sides into each center. So like this. All right. And then flip it over and here too. Oh, this doesn't look straight. Why is that? Well, I like so. Okay. Cool. 
Patrick said your ocarina didn't come out so good. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. Did you try again though? Because, you know, it sometimes helps the second time around. <laughs> okay. All right, we're here and then bring this down. And we are going to flip it over like so. Ah, 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 okay. And then fold this over here like this. I like so. All right. Yeah, okay. All right, and then we're going to flip it back. And we're going to make this color. It's going to look like this. So bring uh, bring this. Maybe um, should we do this like from this point to about this point? I don't know if you see this line invisible line. You won't see it because it's invisible. But let me just show you here. So we're going to go like this. See that kind of like this make a collar I feel like I need to get closer can I do this yes like that okay let's zoom it in like this all right and then this side too so over to the center kind of at an angle to make the other collar like this. Okay. I take it everyone's concentrating. <laughs> I hope this looks right. Okay. All right, are we ready to move on? I'm just hoping that we are. Tell me to slow down if you need me to slow down. But we've just got two more steps and then we're done with the shirt. So now what we're gonna do is take the bottom part here. Let me just swap it over again. Okay, pop it over. Great, awesome, okay. And we're going to create the sleeves now. See this? So what we're going to do is we are going to just fold this out from this corner to uh, maybe about the center so that there's a little sleeve that pops out. And again, we're going to do this on either side. So sleeve, sleeve. Yeah. Okay. And it should look like this. Amazing. Okay, while we're waiting. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Josh, appreciate it. Yeah. I can't check right now, but thank you. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we are going to fold this under the collars. So probably at around this line, but uh, you don't have to fold that part just yet. You're just gonna bring this over like so and then tuck it into this collar. Does that make sense? So if you need me, uh, if you need to see that again, I'm gonna open it up. This is what it should look like. And then we're gonna fold this part under this collar, okay? So fold it under the collar like so. Yeah, okay. And here is our shirt. Ta-da! Awesome! Okay, shirt done. <laughs> How's it looking? Does it look like a shirt? Make sure you tag me in your photos. If you post this, tag me in it and I will make sure that I share it. Okay, so um, let me get you started on the tie. The tie, we need to cut another piece of paper. And what should we do? I think I want to go with the purple. Where is it? Where's my purple? Okay, so 
trying to figure out the size of this. Um, if you have the other, if you just want to use the other side of the paper you have, that's cool. If you want to pick another color or even just pick a pattern or something so that you can make a really cool looking tie. In fact, here's something I prepared earlier. Ah, okay. Here's the other side of this thing. This might work. Maybe the tie will be too small. Um, this might be a little too small actually. So why don't I just use, I'm gonna use this. All right, <laughs> Tim got it, Jeff got it, amazing. Okay, so to cut this, how about we cut it about the size of this shirt? So let me just uh, get in there and I'll just guess. All right. Do, do, do. Yeah, something like that. It can be a little bit smaller. What I might do though is I might just to make sure that it's square, <clears throat> I might um just cut this. I might like cut this, fold this first, fold it like so, and then cut it right there. So just make sure it's square. Right. And then open it up. Has everybody got a piece of paper now? A tiny one? I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to get a tiny piece of paper for the next time. This is really cute. Um, you could make this uh, as, like you could put this on a card, you know, on a greeting card. Um, I guess this would be great as a greeting card for like Father's Day, which is coming up. Except most fathers are maybe um, don't wear a shirt and tie so much anymore because they're working from home. Or maybe they do wear a shirt and tie, but they just are pantsless. <laughs> so you could, we could make this and then some underwear or something. <laughs> it's a happy Father's Day coronavirus edition. <laughs> maybe, I don't know, what else would be like a good origami present for Father's Day? I mean, I guess... Fathers do all sorts of different things, so it's not really one thing to define a father, but <laughs> except for the fact that they're male. All right, so let's, uh, okay, has everyone got a piece of, a tiny piece of paper about the size of the shirt? Uh, well, while I'm waiting, why don't I do just one quick Origami socks, yeah, that's kind of good. It's all, it's all like clothes. <laughs> I think I got a request for a little rain. So why don't I do like just a really short version of little rain. But while I'm doing that, please um, just get a little piece of paper so we can cut a necktie. Or we can fold a necktie. All right. <laughs> Moonshine Jeff, I just love to get a card for Father's Day. Yeah, right? <laughs> Windshield wipers on the blue skies are playing hide and seek. Great clouds spilling out the rain. Headlines, today's top story. Oh, there's a storm that's brewing, but I won't let it change my day. No, I won't let it get me down. No, it won't get me down. No, a little rain won't get me down cause we're singing a
for Jeff. <laughs> All right, you ready to fold the tie? Let's do it. Okay, so we've folded our shirt. We have, and for everybody who's just joining us, hi, welcome. Um, uh, I, we just, I'm just showed everybody how to make a shirt out of origami. And I will actually be posting just a shorter um, YouTube video that's just a tutorial of this so that you don't have to <laughs> listen to me um, talking the whole time and playing music. We'll just get straight to the point. Hi, Patrick. <laughs> um, thank you. Yeah. Oh, I love that little. Yeah. Doo, doo, doo. Hi. Just to show everyone, everyone else, because I know that there's lots of people watching from Facebook and YouTube and maybe Twitch too. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'll be posting another shorter tutorial uh, in soon, in a few days. Okay, here we go. We're going to make a little necktie now. Super easy. So we're going to fold this um, like so. Let me make it a little bit bigger. Okay, and fold this in, fold this into a triangle. So corner to corner, triangle, and then open it up. And then we are going to uh, fold this side into the center and repeat. So into the center and then this side into the center too. All right, here we go. Awesome. Okay. All right, then flip it over. And then what we're going to do is fold this um, pointy part to about uh to about here kind of where this uh where it kind of meets and as a cross okay like this i hope this makes sense for everyone and then we're making what we call a pleat fold so uh, we're going to then fold this over so that there's a little bit of a pleat if you can see it See that? I don't know if you can. Like that. Should look like this. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to flip it back over this way. Okay. And then bring this side, bring it to the center. And then this side and bring it to the center. Yeah. And that's our tie. It's going to be a pretty thick tie. But how do we attach this? We are going to fold it in. So see this part here? you're going to fold it in like this. So what we want to do is you can you can pre-fold it if you want to, but I'm going to take this uh, shirt, open it up again, take remove it from its collar, and then put the tie in the center, fold the little extra flappy bit over, and carefully tuck it back into the uh, collar. Yeah, okay. And that is our shirt and tie, everyone. Isn't that easy? Um, I'm sure that people who see this now, you could make this out of money if you wanted to. Um, I always feel a little bit weird making origami out of money. <laughs> it just feels like a strange thing to do with it. But I've seen a lot of really cool dollar origami. Hi, Yoshimi-chan. Hi. It's so nice to see people from Japan. I don't know when I'll get to go again. Yeah, so that's our shirt and tie. Um, so easy this week. Do you have any requests for following origami workshops? Because uh, I can try and figure out some things for the next few weeks. Or oh, even um, if you have guest requests, like somebody I could invite as a guest to fold this with. Do, do, do. Yeah. And um, yeah, and I don't know if, if uh, you all use Twitch. 
but I'm thinking of maybe doing some more of these, maybe some other ones that I've already folded with you over the last few weeks on Twitch and doing some more music there. I just want to try it out and see how it goes. I think with Twitch, it's um, the streams will end up being a lot longer and way more casual. <laughs> but if you're into that, um, come find me there and, and um, I might try and do some of that maybe even after this. Oh, there's even like an emoji for it. Look at that. And a shirt and tie emoji. Yeah. Oh, so good. Hi. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Uh, any other requests for a song I could finish with a song today? Kikuno requesto toka arimasu ka? I might need to retune this guitar. Could end on a song. Maybe I could just tune this down. All right. I don't see any requests. Mm. So, fun fact, I don't know if any of you care <laughs> or play guitar, but um, I tune my guitar down half a step so that I can sing some songs lower. Yeah. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Jerry. Nice to know that we met in the past once upon a time. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> cool. Good to see you again. Okay. <laughs> you don't remember song names. Okay, let me figure out. Mm, what can I do? I don't remember my songs either. <laughs> um, do, 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 let me see. I could, uh, a new song? Oh, I could do Paralyzed. Why don't I do... Oh, I could do Outside Inside. Outside Inside. I could do my new song. I wrote this with Eden Kai and Kazumi. Change the camera angle too. Outside, inside, outside, outside, inside. Life of the party, that's what they call me. Snap another shot to upload to my story. The lines I'm rehearsing don't wanna be boring. All the voices keeping me up till the morning. How am I walking? What am I wearing? If I'm honest, I can get a little exhausted. Take a step back and take a deep breath and just
outside, outside looking in, outside looking in. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, everyone. Nihon no uta wa? Nihon no uta. Oh, you just missed it. I sang a Japanese song at the start of the stream. Utaimashita yo. You know, so one thing, I think I'm going to wrap up the stream here. Uh, if you feel like joining me on Twitch, I kind of want to head over there for, I don't know, maybe half an hour and I can sing some songs for you. I just want to try it out over there just on Twitch because um, I've never done that before. Ah, Kazuko san, arigato. Thank you, Couch Tomato. <laughs> arigato. Couch, it's not Couch Potato, <laughs> it's Couch Tomato. Yeah, thank you, Jeff. Thanks for coming. I really appreciate everyone being here. I know it's been real crazy. I don't know about you. Um, it's been uh, really crazy, but um, but I know that all of us coming together, having great conversations, um, and just I really like person-to-person -person conversations. So it's been really hard to only communicate with people on Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> um, but trying to have more people-to-people -people conversations, and um, and I'm learning a lot. So thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Emily. I really appreciate you uh, coming to these. It's always so nice to see you. Hi, Charlene. Uh, thank you. Yeah, it's so great to see everyone here. I will be back next Saturday and we'll fold something else and I'll probably invite a special guest to be part of it. So uh, if you have any requests, let me know. Please tag me in your photos of your origami creations. Jackinator! Oh, I have! I've done the origami, unfortunately, but uh, you can go back and watch this. Or um, maybe join me on Twitch, and um, I'm just going to go over there and just try it out and see. I've never done it really before, so I'll be there for about half an hour or an hour. And if you're the only one there, I'll go through this whole thing with you. <laughs> I'll teach you something else. So, okay. Cool! All right. Thank you, June. Thank you, June. Appreciate you. You're amazing. And I will, uh, yeah, I'll see you later, guys. I'll see you next week or maybe see you on Twitch straight after this. Just look up my name, I guess. I don't know how it works, but we'll find out. All right. Bye.